Hello, this is a series of videos about me aiming to get fit, going from nothing to 5,000 meters in just nine weeks. I'm doing it with the help of an app by Public Health England and available for iOS and Android devices. Find out how I've done so far by following the link in the top right hand corner of the screen now. Hello again, here we are. It is week eight on the Couch to 5K, the penultimate week of this challenge. And this week we're stepping things up again. And I'll bring it up on screen because I, I, it's become a habit. As you can see, it's the same three runs again this week, but instead of 25 minutes in week eight, we're doing 28 minutes. So only a subtle increase, but we're heading up towards the magic 30 minutes, which I can see now is what week nine is going to be all about. So yeah, um, I'm okay. I'm still, as I said in the vlog last week, I'm still a little bit uh, hesitant, a little bit uh, having a little bit of trouble during that toxic first half. And I'm hoping that the stamina is going to build a bit this week and I'm going to find that the toxic 15 is heading back down towards more what it should be, which is the toxic 10. And uh, we'll see. I think it, it is a case of building stamina that you can see that's what the program is trying to do. You can see that that is what it's all about. So with no further ado, let's get out there. Let's do run number one, 28 minutes. Uh, as with last vlog, I'm not going to do any recording during it because I am finding it, you know, I really do need to concentrate uh, and make sure that I don't just collapse in a heap and filming while I'm running is definitely not going to help that process. So I will see you on the other side. Right, that's uh, week eight, run one complete. Now I don't know, this might be a bit windy, so I'm going to start heading off the beach now. I uh, ran on the promenade again and uh, then I came back and then I thought, oh, I'll try running on the beach. It was just a little bit on the sand and then it was firmer sand uh, towards the end. Um, but I was finding it a bit, little tricky towards the end, so I'd like to extend my thanks to the Kaiser Chiefs for predicting a riot, which was actually the right tempo for me to run. Uh, for that uh, final five minutes and then I can control the music on my watch so uh, when it got the end of the track <laughs> quick tap so it could play it again just because I just happened to just sheer coincidence happened to be the uh, the right tempo for me to finish that one off which you know not a fast tempo let's be honest but uh, there we go ah now one thing I must do I must break off for a second although I am on my warm down and press stop on the tracking thing. Uh, so hold that thought, I'll be back in back in a second. Right, I'm back. Right, it was it said 3.95 kilometers. And as I've said lots of times before, the distance really doesn't matter. But I think it's interesting because it gives me an idea of the pace that I'm doing. And it was what 3.6 was it last time, so that's uh, that's not bad. Quite pretty cool. I could have done better on a warm down walking up some steps and there we are so 28 minutes i didn't think i'd do it i, I don't know i never think i'm going to do it and then do it so that's great brilliant yeah it's fantastic so i'll carry on walking home now and uh not much more to say see you for run two Right, here we are, it's time now for week eight, run two. I have to stop and think. And we're going out now, it's again 28 minutes. So let's see how we get on. Not much more else you can say really. Let's get on with the run and I'll see you on the other side. Right, that's it. 
another 28 minutes complete. Run two of week eight. It was quite tough, but then these longer runs are going to be. Uh, but I, I kept going, kept pushing to make sure that I was going to do it. I started off at a you know, slow, steady rate. I think that's definitely key for me anyway in these longer runs but the last five minutes I did feel okay and I thought yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up the pace so I did pick up the pace uh, in that last five minutes now distance wise I did have a check of it again this time just to just out of interest so it's not the most important thing but it gives an idea of progress and it was 3.95 kilometers so as near as makes no difference 4k which to be honest with you, I think as I've said several times in these vlogs, is where I think I'm probably headed for the for the 30 minutes. Uh, I'll be very happy if I do 4K, and then it gives me something to build on for 5K over the coming uh, weeks and months. So uh, yeah, I've got my heart racing, which I think is the idea. So run two, I've got no terrible jokes for you today. So that's good, you'll be pleased about that. So I'll just say, thanks for sticking with me again and I'll see you for run three. I'm not lost this time, by the way. That's good. See you for run three. So here we are then, the last run of week eight, 28 minutes again. And uh, again, not much more I can say in a way of an intro. I'm hoping that it's going to carry on uh, getting a bit easier in that easy is the wrong word, but it's going to be a bit sooner that I manage to get into a rhythm and uh, get the, the, the initial shock to the system, get that time reducing because that's what, what we're aiming for. So anyway, let's go out on run number three of week eight. Right. That's another run complete, week eight, run three. That's the end of week eight. I can't believe that's another week in the bag. And I was thinking about it while I was running and uh, that's seven runs now. The last seven runs have been 25 minutes or more each. So, and the reason I was thinking about that is that there are moments when you think, Oh, this is hard. I can't do this. Um, but I think we all suffer from that. I mean, if you've ever taken an exam or taken a driving test or uh, gone for a job interview or anything like that, you've always got that little voice, haven't you? Telling you that you're rubbish and you can't do it. But of course, the voice, the voice is wrong. And uh, you can do it. Of course you can. You can do whatever you put your mind to. So, and what I was telling myself when I was thinking that, thinking I can't do this, which is about 10 minutes, something like that, around about the 10 minute mark. First five minutes are more or less okay. And I get to coming up around 10 minutes and it's whew, And then sort of get to halfway, which is 14 minutes on, on the runs this week. And, uh, and uh, oh, sorry. Did I drop the camera down a bit? Yes, what was I saying? Yeah, so you get to uh, that sort of time and then it sort of seems to be okay again. But um, it's just a case of ignoring those voices, really. Ignore the voices in your head, especially the mad ones. And I'm telling myself, well, I can do this because I've done it so many times before. So, yeah, anyway, there we are. I'm rambling now. Next week is the final week. We move on to three 30 minute runs not back to back not all at the same time <laughs> but spread over the three sessions and, and then that's it completed the program so there's a real incentive there so I've got to the end of week eight completed all the runs and now I've got to try and do the same in the final week so let's hope so anyway thank you again for uh, for, for joining me for this uh, for this third run of week eight and uh, don't forget you can subscribe to the channel uh, there's a if you click on my ugly face in the round circle you can subscribe and immediately below that is a playlist of all the videos in this series 
and uh, watch those if you want to see how I got on as I started vlogging my way to 5k. Thanks again for watching, please like the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.